Hello everyone. Now in this session we will know about the next uh, recovery method that one is the checkpoints. Then how exact checkpoints is work as a recovery method that one is for transaction it create a log everyone uh, knows uh, when the particular transaction is executed then the log related to that is created under the database or it may be uh, with the help of database management system. Now the initial log create on a volatile memory and then we insert uh, volatile memory to stable memory we convert or copy that volatile memory uh, log into the stable memory log. Now the checkpoint is operation which transfer the log to volatile to stable storage. Means uh, if we already uh, know about how the log is created and then uh, it's a log uh, is initially created on the volatile memory and then it may be uh, converted or stored in the um, stable memory or the on a disk space then there is a program which one is converted this task or it may be executed this task that task or it may be that program called as a checkpoints algorithm which one is copy the particular log from volatile memory to the stable memory that is the actual use of checkpoints and definitely with the help of that it's again run with the recovery of the particular uh, failed transaction we will know about how it maintain the data that one is operation perform at each checkpoints consist of following means uh, is the uh, when exact the uh, backup will be uh, maintained on the stable memory of a volatile of the log file the some conditions is uh, some conditions are there then start of a checkpoint along with the time and date of the checkpoint is written to the log on a stable storage means it's it may be uh, it's defined with the some time and date it automatically take the particular back above the uh, log from the volatile memory to stable memory this is simple first way now copy all log information on stable storage and clear the buffer after the copying it from the volatile to the uh, stable then it clear the all the buffer from the volatile memory then it update the database also means when it copy the particular uh, log from volatile memory to a stable memory then it update the log as per the copy the all log information on the stable storage and clear the buffer and then it update the database also as per the confirmation of the particular as per the log it update the database when we copy that log on a stable memory the end of the checkpoint record is written and the address of checkpoint record id saved on the file and it is used when system crashes means so with the help of that checkpoint details uh, or maybe it's run with the multiple checkpoint then every checkpoint have some id then we maintain that id and in a particular in which uh, point uh, the particular transaction is crashed with the help of that checkpoint id we can recover it now the frequency of checkpointing is a design consideration the recovery system following are the options means uh, this is the method how exact the checkpoint uh, mechanism is work now checkpoint uh, it may be a uh, we need to put the checkpoint in every uh, time of a duration or maybe uh, that we can say that frequency of a checkpoint uh, the mechanism for the or the methods for frequency that is the fixed interval of a time means every after every 15 minute it maintains a log from uh, volatile memory to a, a volatile memory to the stable memory this is the one way then the transaction consists a checkpoint at the time of checkpoint no new transaction in initiated means when we run the checkpoint this is the situation like uh, when we uh, run the checkpoint there is no any situation like the at that uh, checkpoint time no new transaction is initiated action consists on checkpoints okay this is transaction consisted it's a depend on a particular transaction action consists checkpoint checkpoint initiated after the completion of a current transaction 
at the time of checkpoint no new transaction initiated that means the action consists the transaction is ended then we run the checkpoint that is simply the way now the for transaction oriented checkpoint or it may be a uh, yes transaction oriented checkpoint after committed of a transaction it forcefully run the checkpoints means so every uh, committed of a transaction it maintains a log from volatile memory to the storage memory now this is simple a scenario this is uh, simply the transaction uh, current transaction execution with a time now the t0 t2 t3 t1 t4 and ti minus 1 we can say that and now after this it's a ti minus 1 and this one is a ti now the ti plus 3 ti plus 2 ti plus 5 ti plus 6 ti plus 1 ti plus 4 these are the transaction which one is uh, uh, currently executed then is uh, here is a simple example here we apply the checkpoints right now the particular applying the checkpoints on the checkpoint all completed transaction copy on a stable memory on this time of a tc it copy the all the completed transactions on a stable file then which are the completed transaction that's a t0 t1 t2 t3 t4 up to the ti minus 1 right or it may be a ti plus 1 these are the ti plus 1 and ti plus 3 these are the completed transaction which one is maintained under the consistent memory or the stable under the stable stable memory when we run this checkpoints now after some time of a tx system fails now what exact the checkpoint is uh, recover the data how exact it recover the data then this is simple steps when the system crashes system create one list that one is undo list that is simply the if we check here the system is crashed that one is uh, uh, we want to undo some transactions uh, because of the system crash to maintain the database in, uh, in a consistent state now these are the five transaction uncompleted uh, one copy in undo list that one is uh, if we check here which are the transaction which is not completed that one is a ti then ti plus 2 then ti sorry it's it's not a ti plus 2 it's a ti plus 6 then the, the these are the two transaction or it may be a uh, the transaction which one is not copied on a stable memory we can say that that one is a ti ti plus 2 ti plus 4 ti plus 5 ti plus 6 these are the five transaction which one is not yet maintained under the uh, stable uh, lock under the stable memory with a stable lock right now this list is created by the program that one is we can say that the checkpoints then uh, uncompleted one copy in undo list then after system crashed at tx the recovery system scans backward and will make a two following list okay with the redo and undo from this file it classifies with the redo and undo why because of it verifies out of this file which which are the completed transactions and which are the forcefully terminated which one is not completed one then out of this file the ti plus 2 ti plus 4 ti plus 5 are the completed one right then we just to apply the redo operation on this file for three transactions everyone knows about redo and undo if you don't know then you just to go with the previous video about the do redo undo operations now this one is simply the redo list which one is a completed transaction at the situation of when system crashed now the undo that one is a ti ti plus 6 which one is a not completed transaction that's why we need to undo it right this ti and the ti plus 6 is a uh, uncompleted other three transaction is a completed transactions this is this is the way uh, the checkpoints is work for the recover the system that is simply the concept of a checkpoint thank you